Hello and welcome to my unboxing and review of the West Coast Highlander, East Coast Express and the Highlander Rambler. Now I think that's the West Coast Highlander, East Coast Express and the Highland Rambler in that one. So let's get them open up and find out. First of all, Those packaging, There's more packaging. Now this is the uh, Highland Rambler. So let's take a look at the Highland Rambler first. Just, uh, some paperwork here. The all important paperwork. Okay. West Coast Highlander train set, East Coast Express train set, Highlander Rambler train set. Okay. This is uh, just a small one. Uh, what we have got is we've got no, no sidings in this one. We've just got the small loco, one plank wagon. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven planks. That's why it's called, called a plank wagon because it's made up of planks. And one small coach or carriage. There was a time when the Highlanders of Scotland were served by a number of railway lines, all operating independently of each other. The rolling stock was varied and became even more so as the railway companies merged with each other through the 20th century, creating a rich variety of locomotive coaches and wagons that would often be combined into a mixed train. This set represents of that period and includes a small 404 tank engine, which is that one, a plank wagon, which I said about that, and a small passenger coach. So you get um, a trap mat, um, eight um, oval track and two small straights. Well, one's a small straight and one's a power straight, I think they call it. That's what it looks like on the back. Okay. So this is a uh, trap mat. Let's have a look what we've got in here. Oh, that's very, that's very useful so, to get your trains onto. So it fixes onto like that, and then and it makes it easy to push the trains on. I've already got one, but mine's very old. So as you can see, mine's a bit broken that corner and that end bit's broken off, so, so I mean both are still very good. So you've got the 040 locomotive operating manual instructions. Uh, Hornby warranty registration card. Please forward and return within 28 days to purchase off your set. We'll do that a bit later. Owner's manual. About running a train, points. Uncoupling ram, uh, ramps in the course. Hi. Okay, I've jumped ahead a, a little bit, mats. put the trap mat down. Something I don't really use all that often. Um, in here, we've got extra bits. Um, for the, oh, look, there's a little. Oh, look, look, there's two men in there. I don't know how well you can see that. 
that you can just about see that's a man with a spade. There you go. And that's, that's a man there. who's sitting down. And that one, you can see a man with a spade. And there you've got some um, pipes. Look like this one. There, there are four pipes. Now, as you can see, there's a, I think they call this a power track, where you connect the, uh, why do I always forget things? The controller, that's where it is, the controller. Uh, I've already got three controllers over there, so I don't need to connect, take that out, out the box. Uh, but all I'm going to do, is take this loco out HR Highland Railway I should imagine a little hole in the back so it makes it can you see those holes so it's easy for so you can put your fingers there and push things out Hopefully, there you go. In the net. It's like six tons or something on there. Can't quite read that. And A load, load 12 tons or something. Can't quite read that. Hornby Railways, I think that's it underneath. Um, and then you've got this small carriage here. Doesn't, a very basic carriage. Uh, can't even see any seatings inside it. I think it's just. I don't think there's anything. I think it's completely empty inside. It's got metal wheels. This looks. Yeah, metal wheels. They've both got metal wheels. They all got metal wheels. But this is definitely has to have uh, metal wheels. Okay, like so what I've done, as you see, as I said earlier, I've really put out the um, track mat and um, in, uh, on one, I can't remember which video, but Intercity 82, notice on the track mat, there's this, this little curved bit here, we thought, it was for a road, but no, what it is actually, because if you don't have a, um, let's just show you this one for example, this is the same track mat, as you can see, if I had a, um, a siding, it, it it basically follow this big circle and there's a siding on the far side so it would like just follow that but that's because this this one hasn't got a siding it's just so that it comes round here you see so it follows this you see so if you're ever watching this in City 82 that's what this ground bit's for. It's for, uh, uh, it. So let's just fix this together. So this side follows the outer curve.
and then as you can see you've got this brown bit here where the trap so if you haven't got um, like, like this one the Highland Rambler and then you can up with the power track okay so that's all nicely set up So it kind of fo follows the outer ring, but then it goes across this uh, road crossing here, onto the brown circle here, uh, crosses that siding there, crosses that other track there, and then onto there. I don't really need this, but as I've got it, unless it's new, Now I don't know which way this might go backwards, so let's just push this on. And look at that. You see that? It's a bit of a ramp so I didn't even have to uh, do anything, I just put it on there and it rolled on. That's quite a nice little thing. Okay, so that, that's how it's got it on the box. I'll show you. Probably doesn't really matter, but you've got the tank engine, the Inverness, and coach so that's how I've got it as well. Switch on. This may go backwards, I don't know which way this is going. Oh look, I'll go it right the first way round. Now I've heard that when you first uh, do a train um, you shouldn't make it go fast, you should let, you should let it go slowly um, on the running, but if, uh, I'm interested to find out if it's uh, how fast it goes. I'm going to go full speed. So that's pretty fast, and that's full speed. I'll take it back down now. So let's try it with uh, without the carriage. Little experiment. It's a little useful tool. A friend of mine made eight ago. Basically, it's just a cork uh, with a um, what it's got. It's got a paper clip and open it up, stuck it in, just. So, makes it easy, there you go, uh, let's take, so if I had the siding I would have put this onto the siding, but there's, so, well there's kind of a siding just here, so let's put it on the pretend siding there. Seems to go a little bit faster. Okay, so let's swap over. Let's see um, with the carriage instead of the truck. Let's pretend this is on the siding. Take that off to its little siding there. Probably that same speed with the truck. Okay. Now let's try it um, just on its own.
They're about the same speed. Don't really make much difference if it's got one or two, um, if it's pulling one or two carriages or trucks. Let's change over with the Smoky Joe. Oh, yeah, these type of engines are called pug engines because they've only got four wheels. If you notice, this is very similar to my Smoky Joe. I think it's that actually is the same. There's a slightly difference there. I don't know if you can see. There's like um, a bit. Oh no, I think that's the same actually. The only difference is it's called Smoky Joe and that's a Highland Railway perhaps. It's got the whistles the same, chimneys the same. Uh, it's got around that bit it's got two white lines, it's got one white line, that's a got a red line around it. Um, so let's put the Smoky Joe on. I just want to show you quickly again my other little pug engine. It's also the same as a Smoky Joe, so it's a 56011, that's four, can't quite read that one, it's like 401 I think that says, or 431. Yeah, I don't know if you can quite read that. I'm, I'm looking at this picture and it says Highland Railway 431. I was right. I was, I was just a guess. Highland Railway. Well, it makes sense this is called the Highland Rambler, so. Smoke Joe was a bit faster than that. Let's try this other one. And they're all about the same speed. So that's my unboxing and review of the Highland Rambler. It's very simple, um, a very good starter pack. And you've got everything. Right, I suppose a bit of a bonus. Um, you have got like I showed you earlier, you've got um, the two men in there, as I said, one's a digger, um, well not a digger, but one's a spade, and one's actually sitting down doing controls, and you've got um, the pipes there. I don't think it's really worth putting, unless you, unless you glue the pipes on, I mean, they're only going to get fall off and get lost, but that's such a small fiddly job to do. So, um, well that's it, I shall now go on to my other, okay, I shall now go and review and unbox uh, 
from the Highland Rambler to the I shall now go unbox I shall go from the uh, Highland Rambler to the Highland train so thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video f for the uh, Highlander train set. Thank you. See you in a minute. Bye.